Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And here we have the um, high pressure shutoff valve that we removed in the previous video. But before we check for the uh, possible malfunction, let's check out the valve. The air that goes to the high pressure shutoff valve comes for the, from the 14th stage of the um, compressor of the engine. So at uh, higher power settings the air will come from the intermediate pressure of the uh, compressor and that is at the 8th stage of the compressor. Now there's a muscle pressure line connected to the valve and that comes from the controller and that one decides uh, when to open or close the valve. Air pressure is then needed to open the valve but to close the valve it's done by a spring. And if we examine the, the valve a little bit closer, we already see that it doesn't want to go by itself to the fully closed position. And here you see that we need to help it to uh, act on the uh, switch uh, to uh, sense it close. Although uh, pressure that comes from the uh, compressor could probably help it to get close, you see that there is some play on the axle of the bottom valve uh, assembly that probably causes it not to close uh, fully. And here you see the play from the side of the butterfly valve. As I don't have a serviceable um, valve to show you how it looks when the uh, valve is serviceable, then there's definitely no play on the axle and the spring is uh, strong enough to uh, keep it fully closed and the switch uh, actuated by the valve. And here I manually uh, open it uh, to the fully open position and then I'll uh, release it and in the normal circumstances the valve should be uh, strong enough to uh, fully close the valve uh, and actuate on the, sp on the switch. And here the uh, manual opening and closing from the uh, perspective of the uh, butterfly valve. And the squeaky noise is also not on the new valve. But if you don't have a new valve available at your station and um, you fall within the criteria of the MEL minimum equipment list, it's a possibility to dispatch um, the uh, aircraft with uh, an HP valve uh, inoperative. <coughs> and here you see how you can deactivate the um, HP valve. You uh, up remove one plug from the air chamber that's then vented to ambient so it cannot be pressurized anymore and then you lock the uh, butterfly with the um, bolt that you remove from the chamber. This way the uh, valve is uh, forced in the open closed position and you see also that it's uh, acted on the switch 
So it uh, would have been a possibility for this aircraft to be dispatched like this. And to uh, reactivate the valve, you can uh, remove the bolt and uh, place it back into the air chamber and then the uh, valve is ready to go again. And I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, together with the previous video of the removal and installation of the valve. And I'll see you the next time. Take care, bye bye.